When you use your credit card, it takes Visa 1700 transactions per second and MasterCard at 1000 transactions per second. You don't think about it because it happens in the background. Now with crypto, in order for adoption and real everyday use case to happen has to be a seamless shift. But here's the thing you might not know and it's still slow to do transactions and it's expensive. Imagine trying to be the first group of people trying to buy your Coachella ticket and in order to speed up your purchase, you have to pay more. What would have cost you $500 can now be up to $1,000 more because of you wanting to increase the speed of that transaction. Why is the future of finance slow and expensive? I decided to explore it for you. Ethereum scalability. See, ETH has high fees and network traffic that won't go away, so it's decided to reroute it to layer twos or L2s for short. Ethereum is an L1, aka layer one blockchain, and an L2 is built on top of it to be a solution for those pain points when it comes to traffic. Let's rewind it back to buying that Coachella tickets, except let's replace it with an everyday consumer goods like a $5 worth of coffee or an L2 that's coffee for $5 won't be as expensive, but if it was bought on an L1 like Ethereum, it would probably be like $20 because of gas fees alone. Now, just to give you a real world highlight on the absurd amount of gas fees, I decided to look back at one of my accounts from 2021 to 2025. I paid a total of 30k plus in gas fees alone. Yes, Ethereum transformed finance, but can it really scale it? This is where a new player enters the chat. Meet Monad, a blockchain promising 10,000 transactions per second near zero fees and full ethereum compatibility monad blockchain is a layer one blockchain designed to prioritize high transaction speeds and scalability while maintaining full compatibility with ethereum virtual machine aka evm allowing developers to easily migrate existing ethereum applications to the monad network without significant codes to change essentially it aims to provide a faster more efficient version of Ethereum with seamless integration for existing Ethereum smart contracts and applications. Lower fees and transactions. With its high throughput and efficient execution models, Monad offers near zero gas fee and rapid transaction finality, enhancing the user experience for decentralized applications, aka dApps. Developer-friendly environment. Monad's EVM compatibility and support for existing Ethereum tools make it accessible for developers. This facilitates the migration of dApps and smart contracts to Monad, leveraging its scalability and performance benefits. Parallel execution with being able to achieve high performance. Monad leverages parallel transaction execution technology, allowing multiple transactions to be processed altogether. There is a deferred execution decoupling, validation, and execution. Like checking everyone's tickets first, then letting them board the plane all together. As far as its consensus mechanism, Monad utilizes Monad BFT, an optimized Byzantine fault tolerant consensus protocol. This mechanism streamlines communication between validating nodes, reducing consensus rounds, and improving overall network efficiency. A crucial feature of Monad is its full compatibility with the EVM, which means developers can utilize existing Ethereum smart contracts and tools on the Monad network without major adjustments. If Ethereum is a single lane highway, Monad is a multi lane freeway handling way more cars way faster. Think of practical use cases when it comes to Monad. Cheaper DeFi, faster NFTs, more accessible dApps. High throughput when Monad claims to achieve significantly higher TPS transactions per second rates compared to Ethereum, enabling it to handle large loads, large volumes of transactions efficiently. Monad represents a significant investment in blockchain technology offering a scalable, efficient, developer-friendly platform that addresses many limitations of existing EVM-compatible blockchains. But here's the catch. Not everyone is convinced with anything brand new. There will be adoption hurdles. Then there is Solana and Ethereum's dominance when it comes to network effects, which I think of Solana and Ethereum combined, and that's why we have Monad. 
Proponents highlights its technical innovations and performance improvements, while critics express concerns about its ability to achieve widespread adoption and maintain decentralization. This ongoing debate underscores the complexities and challenges that Monad faces as it seeks to establish itself in a competitive landscape. Monad isn't just another blockchain. It represents a radical shift in how blockchains might operate, from parallel transaction execution to its optimized consensus mechanism. Within the developer landscape, it helps with the EVM compatibility as new players are able to take advantage of the resource efficiency with Monad's architecture, it's designed to operate on consumer-grade hardware, reducing the barrier to entry for node operators and promoting decentralization. Whether Monad succeeds or fails, it challenges our expectations and pushes blockchain technology forward. And in the world of innovation, sometimes disruption is the point. But what do you think? Could Monad reshape the blockchain landscape or is it another overly ambitious crypto promise?